My ingredients are going to be the biscuits, the breadcrumbs, sour cream, the spaghetti sauce, cream cheese, butter, we have garlic, uh, granules, breadcrumbs, of course again, and then we have the, uh, diced onions and basil and oregano. And those are our ingredients. Hi everyone, Paula here. Today we're going to be making spaghetti and meatballs with a traditional sauce. I'm going to put a twist on it and I'm going to make a la panna sauce with a regular spaghetti sauce. And I'm going to show you how to do that. And I also am going to be making um, garlic breadsticks. And I'm going to show you how to, I'm going to do that this morning. Well. So, so okay. um, kids always get a blast when we start making them. So uh, today I'm going to substitute my butter for my um, olive oil. It's not on the diet, but it's what I have, so that's what we're using today. Okay, so we're going to begin. I have and my ground brown. And I am going to start with my breadcrumbs. And I have a little bit of basil and oregano. I'm just going to use a little bit because there's always already seasoning in there. And then I'm going to add my onions. And that's about a cup to a half a cup. It's your choice if you want to use them or not. And we're just going to mash it up with our hands. And just kind of just keep going at it. That should be successful. Okay. The onions are important in your hamper. Um, we're not adding any sausage or anything into this today. The onions actually help keep your meat moist. And then also, it also gives us something to bind with with the breadcrumbs. So it has something to bind with. I'm not going to use an egg. Um, I'm not looking for that over binding. You can, but I would choose not to today. It gives it a different texture for me. Okay, so it's just going to continue just to keep folding it in. And all I'm doing is just folding it through and through.
of my wine in here. It's a white Zippendale. I had some left over, so I'm going to add that into my spaghetti sauce. That doesn't mean that you have to. It's just what I prefer to do. Okay. Now we're going to heat this up really good. It's going to take a few minutes. And while that's heating up, I am going to get my water boiling. I'm going to add a little bit of garlic. And then I'm going to add the rest of my basil and oregano. Got to have a little bit in the water. Everything's going to have a flavor. So we're going to let the spaghetti sauce heat up. While it's heating up, I am going to get my cream cheese and my sour cream together. So I have got to turn my heat down a little bit because it's boiling. Okay. I want the cream cheese in it because I'm looking for that creamy flavor. Now if you have some mozzarella, or some provolone, or even some ricotta, just a little bit of it, you can throw it in there. I'm looking for a creamy, a creamy flavor. I would not add Swiss or anything with a with a um, bitter taste to it, only because um, it will take away from the alapana sauce for the creamy richness that you're looking for. That's the reason why I added my white Zippendale. And I only added a quarter cup. I didn't add a half. I just, I'm just looking for flavor. The acidity is already high because of the tomatoes and the spaghetti sauce. And you're saying, why don't you just throw the whole block in there? It doesn't melt like that. It's harder for it to uh, break down if I put the whole block in there. And I'm going to have to pull it on it soon. This would be really good if you wanted to um, turn this into instead of a meat base. You could you could actually do a zucchini paste, or um, like if you instead of like um, you want to do zucchini spaghetti or um, spaghetti squash. That would be really good too. that going and I don't want to add my meatballs just yet because I'm trying to get this heated and melted so I've got to keep a close eye on this because sour cream will curdle if you're cooking it on high so you want to add it right before even the same with cream. If, even if you decide you want to use heavy cream instead of sour cream, 
the um, the milk will curd if it's too hot if you continue to keep it on the heat. And see where all the essence of the meat that we uh, had um, cooked in here is already inside the sauce from when we browned the meatballs. It's about a quarter cup we're going to start with. It might need about a half, but it, depending on flavor and the text and the color and what I'm looking for. Uh oh, making a mess. Mess means good. And see how it's starting to give that dull look to it? That's what we're looking for. I might give it another shot of sour cream. Just a tad. I only give it like this a little bit. Awesome. Okay. This is breaking down really nice. It looks good. We need a taste. Let's see if we need to add anything. Mm. Very good. And the meatballs. So I have my cookie sheet over here, and I'm going to take my biscuit, can biscuit, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to take, so I'm going to take, I'm going to roll it. So I just have it, just so. You can get as creative as you want. You can make little crosses. Take another one. Another one. Just roll it out. It doesn't matter what type of biscuit, it's all up preference what you want. Stretch it out. And you can, if you have Parmesan, you can add Parmesan to this, and you just cross it over. Pinch. You set it on the cookie sheet, and then you take your little brush. And you just brush them. You want both sides? Both sides. That's it. Just a little bit more. And I'll just serve all those. And we've got breadsticks. A little bit of work, but if you have kids, it's kind of fun to do. We're going to 
going to go in about eight or nine minutes at 